I have a problem. Bank of America is charging me $16 a month for having a business bank account. Welcome back to Civ Gift from Hunter and Child Investments. In this channel, we'll talk about personal finance, cost savings, and building a business online through entrepreneurship. So speaking of entrepreneurship, I have a problem. Bank of America is charging me $16 a month for having a business bank account. And I thought, what a great way to make a video and change my banking from Bank of America to something else that's way better. So in this video, I wanna look at six different banking institutions that I've yet to come across and I will probably be changing to their account, if not later, but sooner. So number one is Bank of America. I've yet to change out of them. They're, right now, they, they're currently charging me $16 a month for having a bank account with them. And if my account goes below 100, they send me email, text messages, say my account is low. So Bank of America charges $16 a month for having a business checking account. And the requirement to qualify is about $200 to have that in there. The advantage of having Bank of America is they're readily available across the United States and they have ATMs worldwide. Number two is Chase, Chase Business. Chase Business offers also a 15 month uh, business checking account fee. But if you sign up now, the recording of this video, they offer a $300 bonus, sign up bonus for signing up. And at least in my area in the Northeast, I'm starting to see more in Chase Banking available. So there is uh, brick and mortar buildings if you're into that. If you're okay with having a virtual or a fiduciary institution that's based in other states but uh, able to connect through either internet or through a user app then this is the place for you number three is going to be my all-time favorite i'm probably going to be signing up with them sooner than later is blue vine so blue vine is a uh, fintech financial technology company it's not an actual bank their banking is processed by celtic bank so they're not physically located anywhere um, maybe comment below if you know otherwise however they do offer some great um, benefits there is no monthly payment or minimum opening deposit unlimited free transactions fee transactions no overdraft fees and there's a two percent interest rate on having an account balance including two hundred fifty thousand dollars or more and there's no fees for using atms that are participating in within their network great startup business financial company and also when your company grows bigger and bigger like this channel if you haven't already subscribed. The con is you can't physically make a cash deposit into their account. You're going to have to transfer some way into their account through some kind of uh, financial bank that you locally have into their account or even that has your money deposited directly into their account. So all these banks that I mentioned are FDI insured up to $250,000. You have more than that. I would use different banks just so you allocate different amounts to different accounts. I don't have that much money to begin with to be doing that, but I would think that's the best route to do that. Axel Spanks is another one. This is uh, number four, I want to say. The pros for this is there's the same thing, no monthly fees to uh, open up. There's no minimum deposit to open up an account. Automatic refunds all ATM fees. Unlimited uh, wire transfers within the United States. You can make cash deposit at the participating ATMs and they have 24 hours, seven, seven day tech support. As when Blue Vine, you don't have that, but you do have that with Chase and Bank of America. And the recording this video, I think Axel Bank has the highest offering to a sign-on bonus if you sign up with them, a $400 sign-on bonus at the recording this video. Maybe we'll get a partnership with them, who know? I'll reach out to them, see if they, they give you something for watching this channel. So check them out, Axel's Bank. And I'll leave all this, the link in the description below that I'm reading from. This is from Nerd Wallet. Shout out to Nerd Wallet. So the cons to Axel Bank, um, there's a $25 fee for insufficient funds and there's no third party app integration so basically they don't have an app so you have to do everything online unfortunately after recording this video i don't think they have a, an app you can use right now the fifth i uh, may be leaning toward more and more because i already have a american express platinum with them if you haven't already subscribe if you're going to use the american express or sign up for american express use my link in the description below at no extra cost to you help support the channel why not so american express has a business checking account those are pros of that is no no minimum fees no uh, minimum requirements to keep their account active. There's no transaction fee or charges for incoming wires. And you can also earn up to 1.3 APY if you have balance up to half a million dollars. We're not there yet. And do, they do offer 24 seven uh, customer service as we had with uh, Axel's uh, Chase in Bank of America that has uh, 24 seven customer support. You can't deposit cash technically into them. You can wire through another checking account or even through your employer. You can have direct deposit into their business account 
or any kind of business transactions that you sold online or even provided service as a business, you can have them deposit to your American Express business bank account. The last one I want to talk about, number six, is Novo Bank. It's a business checking account. So there is no monthly fee to have them. Same thing, it's a virtual bank where it exists in the virtual world. It'd be okay with that, like everything else. Uh, like we have American Express, why not? So the pros is there's no monthly fees for them. There's no minimum requirement to have deposit there and unlimited transactions for having their account. The cons, they do not offer any PY interest rate for having an account with them and they don't offer any sign on bonuses. So all these banks I talked about, they do require some kind of proof of entity. So be it uh, a solopreneur, a um, sole proprietor, LLC, S Corp, C Corp, any one of those you're part of, you do have to provide some information that you do exist as a company and not just sign up for these accounts arbitrarily. They do require some information like an employee identification number, like EIN number from the IRS, proof of mailing address if you have one, a physical address, and they may ask for your social security card. And of course, any business uh, related entities like um, you pay for your cell phone, fax machine, home office, any of those that so shows proof. And again, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a business developer. Do your own research. That's what I see online. Listen, you're watching these videos because you believe personal finance is achievable. And this video will talk about personal finance, cost savings, and business, building a business online. Today, we talked about opening a business account in different ways through a brick and mortar company or a virtual company, as in Bluevine or even Axos. So if you like these type of videos where I talk about personal finance and cost savings, then subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one who watches these videos and hope to see you in the next video. I thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one.